Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby and welcome. In today's video, guys, we will be decorating the new hutch in my dining room. You guys are probably um, not aware of the progress on this and where I got this, but I'm going to share that all with you guys. My friend had this and she was selling it for $45. I purchased it for $40. This is a before and also the progress that I made during the night of it. I finished this hutch in one day. The same day that I picked it up, I bought all the materials that I needed to redo it just because I knew the perfect spot for it. I had a cabinet in my dining room area, similar, like closer to my living room, but in my dining room. And as you guys are aware, it was my coffee bar. But I've always dreamed of having a hutch, so I knew this piece would be perfect for that. And as soon as I picked it up, I got started on it. And like I said, I was able to finish it in one day. It's not perfect, but I am so in love with how it looks. I still need to touch up on some of the paint. I also want to sand it a little bit more on the edges to match my cabinet that I have at the bottom but let me know in the comments down below what you think on how I did with this um, it was my first time sanding my first time like painting a super big project and I really love how it turned out I think it's gonna fit my home beautiful but I would love to hear from you guys but before we get started on decorating the hutch, I want to take some time to decorate my table. It's not very spacious, but we are going to make the best of what we have. And it's going to turn out beautiful either way. Um, I did purchase this Hobby Lobby table runner for $8. I really love it. And then these placemats I got from Dollar General last year. I also added that little duck oil lantern that I showed you guys in my last video. Um, I am so in love with it. It's gorgeous. And then this little terracotta fake plant I got from Dollar General as well for $1. The cool thing about the hutch is that it does have two shelves and then underneath the first shelf it has this opening at the bottom where you can decorate so I did go ahead and take advantage of that. I placed the jug that I got from the estate sale underneath. I love that one. It's so perfect and I've also been collecting these corn whiskey vintage jugs. I think they're so cute for decorating so I did go ahead and place that underneath as well. And as you guys have seen in my last haul, I showed you this basket. I decided to go ahead and place it underneath because I really loved how it looked. And then I also picked up a beautiful lace piece. I believe I showed you in my last video as well. I got that for $4. I decided to place it in the basket and kind of like, kind of have it um, hanging off of it a little bit. I thought it would look so beautiful, especially because I want my home to feel lived in. I also wanted to have that cottage home and also similar to like the French country farmhouse vibe. That's kind of what I've been going towards and I really loved how this turned out. I hope with this video you guys will see how I style the pieces that I do pick up. I want to go ahead and show you guys more of that side of picking up items and decorating um, but as always on the first shelf I did want to go ahead and incorporate books that's one thing that I always choose to do with my decorating I've just been loving it recently I feel like it just ties in very well with my home and I am a collector of books so anytime I see a really old one or one that just looks really interesting I always pick it up Here is another item from the estate sale that I chose to use for the hutch. I really love these plates. They remind me of spring and I love incorporating plates to my decorating. It's something that's very new to me, but my friend Cynthia has encouraged me to do that. Her home is so beautiful. I wish you guys could see it. I always tell her all the time to make a YouTube channel because she decorates so beautiful and she always uses plates in her decorating. So she has inspired me to do the same and I just love Love these plates so so much and for two dollars for all six that was a great deal you guys 
guys probably don't remember this, but I have thrifted this cutting board so long ago. I got it for 99 cents. It still has a Goodwill sticker on it. I thrifted it for a reason, and I know a lot of the things that I pick up kind of look like random things, but I promise you I always have a place for them or a place in mind for them. And then if I don't end up using them, I do go ahead and declutter them and get rid of them. Um, but I am so happy that I was able to use this old looking cutting board. And for 99 cents, that's a great deal. I added this beautiful vase with these super cute white florals and also these amber goblets to the shelf. Okay guys, so the top shelf was a little hard for me to decorate and film just because I'm not used to it. So please bear with me, but I did want to use this beautiful frame and decor piece that I got from the yard sale for three dollars i love it i think it's so homey and think it's perfect for this area i also added a bowl with the copper heart mold inside of it and then this little pitcher um next to it i thrifted the little bottom piece to the pitcher the next day i found it so it, it was like perfect it was meant to be I also added a stool to the side of the frame. I really love how it looks and I like the different heights in my decorating. It's kind of hard to see the vision now, but when you when I step back, you'll kind of see how everything flows together. But on the side of the hutch, I didn't want it to be very empty, so I added this um, greenery piece that I had on I don't even know where I had this I can't remember <laughs> but I had it somewhere and I moved it here and I also placed like a little cutting board next to it I thought it would be so cute for now the decorating doesn't stop there um, I picked this up from the estate sale I think I had showed you guys it's like this baking contest sign and it has like these hooks on it i wanted to place it right next to the hutch because it's very empty there and you guys can see the little holes on the wall from when my old shelf was there don't mind that i'm gonna be covering that up very soon i have a couple of little holes from screws and stuff that needs to be patched up from when i used to decorate right in that area so please don't mind that but i knew that this was going to be perfect here and at first i wasn't really sure what to hang on these hooks until my friend was like you need to hang measuring cups and i was like you know what that's such a great idea because i thrifted this copper set so long ago and i kind of just like had them hanging together and i really didn't see how beautiful they were until they were separated and now that they are placed on here i feel like they match so well and they just go so together and i just love how it looks i think it's beautiful it's very unique and i'm just really happy that i was able to get this and decorate this on the left of the hutch i decided to hang up these hanging brooms i have been really into hanging brooms in my home i saw this idea on pinterest and ever since i saw it i loved it i just feel like it gives off that home feel and Maybe it's just weird because I know a lot of people don't do it, but I personally love it, so I'm still collecting brooms to hang. Um, so I'm really excited with how that turned out. And then on top of the hutch, I did add that big old copper pan that I got from the estate sale. I put a plant up there with a copper pot and then also my rolling pins, which I have been collecting as well. I love how that looks. I think it looks very simple and very beautiful. This is the end of the video and I want to go ahead and show you everything close up. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the hutch as well as what you think of my simple decorating. I really love this space in my home and I cannot wait to decorate it for the seasons. I have already been planning for that. So stay tuned because in my next video which will be out I believe tomorrow or Sunday. I'm gonna try to film a haul video and I'm gonna show you some of the things that I'm getting for pre-fall. So stay tuned for that. But I love you guys so much and thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.